Let's look at the BES4 workspace together. When you open the program, there are many areas to look at. Let's start at the top of the page with the toolbar. The toolbar has the name of the design, the number of colors, number of stitches, and the size of the design. Next is the ribbon. These tools are arranged by function. At the top of the ribbon, you'll see tabs of Home, Arrange, where you can align up designs in relationship to each other, the Tools, which helps you use your design in other ways than just embroidery, and your View is how you set up your workspace to look. You'll see the Paste Setter button in the top left-hand corner. When you click on this button, there are more choices for you, such as Save, Open, and Print. Next to that, you'll have a list of recently used designs, and you can simply double-click on one of those to bring the design back in to continue working on it. As you bring projects in, you'll have new tabs, and you can toggle between the tabs as you're working. You have a quick access toolbar, which you can customize to your liking. You simply click on More Commands. You select the command that you would like to see on that bar. You click Add. Then you click OK. And the new tool that you would like will now be visible on the Quick Access Toolbar. Next we have a simulator at the bottom. The simulator lets you see how the embroidery design will actually stitch out before you bring it to an embroidery machine. You can control the speed of this simulator and you can control the scrolling through the colors as you choose. Under the simulator we have a status bar. The status bar is going to be information about the extension format in which hoop is being used. There's two rows of colors. One row is the color palette and the other is the color used in the design itself. And we have preferences and there are many different categories, some of that being recipes, file format, environment, grid, based, and color sort. Up in the top right hand corner you'll find the help button and there you'll find questions to answers and also step-by-step -step instructions. When you open the help button there are many ways to find the topic you're looking for. Have fun using this wonderful program.